Hey guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are on search, or in search, of COD today. And last time we left off, we had gotten to one of the areas that we had visited before. Get out of get out of that paralysis stuff. Um, but I, uh, I actually had winged out of there before I had the chance to fish there. So that's one of the places we're going to try. I did find something while exploring a little bit off camera. Um, and that is a world map. So basically there was a chest on one of those plateaus. And it just contained the world map. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I haven't really seen anything real new. I did visit... Oh, I forgot about that. Uh-huh. Didn't we find a way out last time? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I forgot all about that hole. Okay. Let me get Oh Dang it. I didn't even think about that. Alright, hold on. Yeah, this is the way I had taken out last time. Alright, let me just make my way back around. Put the blocks in your hand, climb out of this hole, young man. I don't know if that's a good song or not, but I just made it up. Anyway, I made some more axes, and I uh, actually found, uh, I actually started crafting a few things in the uh, the spinning wheel. Let me kill this thing, and actually what I'm going to do is fill in that hole so I don't fall in it again, because we might have to travel over here a few times. There we go. So yeah, then uh, since I had found the stone, I had... Um, Oh, since I had made the stone axe, I had never tried a few other things. And there ended up being recipes in there for the shield. And once I made this fibrous cloth, what what's it called? Uh, I think it's called fibrous cloth. Uh, I got a new option to make this stuff right here, which is the training togs. And there's another recipe too that's better, but I need something called a sapphire. Uh, let's equip the leather shield as well. And let me go to recipes and show y'all what I meant. Uh, let's see here. So, oh look. Fibrous fabric, that's what it's called. And it was just at the sewing station since I had found the, the fur or whatever from the hammer hoods. Now I have the option to make this stuff. The training togs, which I just made, and the cloak of evasion. Training togs are easy to make. Cloak of evasion, like I said, needs the sapphire. So, we're gonna be looking around for a sapphire, but other than that, let's continue on our merry way. So, I do believe this is the only area that I really haven't tried to fish in. We're gonna try just off of here. I don't know, maybe I should go a little bit further in at least where the drakey spawn and stuff all right let's just try it in here let's just try it and see if I could catch anything uh, are you gonna bite one day got it a cod somehow I knew it somehow I didn't know it was gonna be that easy let's um I need a I need to make a get a few more. I figured it was in this area because this is where the spawns change. Very good. All right, let's kill the. Um, I mean, they don't change. Dra I mean, they they do change pretty drastically. Lime grass seed. I never got one of those before either. Oh, I didn't pull up quick enough. There we go. Uh oh. What I got? A slime? That's nothing. That's nothing. Are you gonna interrupt me while I'm fishing? Nope. You're just gonna bounce around in the water like an idiot. I'm gonna keep fishing right in front of you just to taunt you, little slime. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Uh oh, that wasn't the sound that I was. <laughs> it was making the sound of the alert when a monster gets alert to you. Alright, that's three cod. I don't know how much I need, but. Nice. Um, let me just do two more. If if all I can do is catch cod, I might as well just do a few more. At least I know where to come to get them now. Also, there's a few um, there's a few places I found of some some of those uh, guys with the bows that need um, the tingle tablets as well. Like they're all paralyzed and stuff. All of those ha those raised houses. 
Let's do one more, and I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. There we go. All right. So this, uh, these. Let me find one. Where are they? Yeah, those right there. You can make those. Those guys right there want tingle tablets and stuff. Let's go ahead and use one of the chimera wings. And we'll make some Tangle Tablets. And this should progress the storyline a little bit due to the, um, due to the, all the ailing people that we need. Alright, let's make some Tangle Tablets, shall we? Nah, that's not what I wanted to do, Geronimo. Tangle Tablets. Okay, it builds three. So I should be able to do, let's just do six. Because I know I need like three over here, and I think I need two somewhere else. So, also Ring of Immunity, Pure Water, and a Dodo Herb. I can make... Oh, it needs two gold to make the Ring of Immunity. Huh. Against Poison. That's interesting. Uh, I could make the Ring of the Full Moon, which is... Protects against Paralysis. So I could just walk through all of that stuff. I don't know if I need liquid silver. I don't have that. Quite a few things left to make, unfortunately. Alright, I got Tingle Tablets now, though, babe. Let's get everybody up and running, shall we? Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I already wasted one. Alright, so these guys are gonna be healed. These guys just need some more rest, I guess. Hold on. Let's hurry and um, and sleep before the ghosts start coming out. That would have sucked. All right. Okay, now I got Ellie's quest is complete. Good. Ellie, praise the goddess, Zuljan. Our patients are well on the road to recovery. I cannot thank you enough for all you have done for them. But one thing weighs heavily on my mind. Though we have given them all the treatment and nourishment they need, many of our patients still suffer. Given enough time to rest, they should regain their strength eventually, unless the blight is not the only thing afflicting them. Zuljan, my lamb, I've heard some of these poor souls murmuring in their sleep about a man named Ilias. He was once a student of Geronimus. <laughs> Geronimo. <laughs> Count it be that he was something to do with this. Rubus, forgive me. I should not be wasting your precious time with idle speculation. For now, you have done everything you can for our poor patients. Thank you so much, Zuljan. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I was hoping you might build for me. So I've drawn up a blueprint for it. As you know, cleanliness is next to godliness, so no wonder everyone getting sick when they're wearing such grubby clothes. And that's why we need everybody new ones. Oh, to make everybody new ones. If you could find some time to build this room for me, the lamp, uh... My lamb, I'd be ever so grateful. Okay, so let's look at this. This is the habit, the habit, haberdashery. Is that how it is? Let's just build it. Oh, let's let's just put it down right here and see. And I think yeah. All right. So I've already kind of built that already. Already, already. I just said, let's do this. Let's remove blueprint. And this other room can be a haber... This will be a haberdashery. And then we can just build something else. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's too far out now. Remove blueprint. Yes. Dang. It's still too far out. Why is it like... Hold on. It's like it's just auto placing at one time. It doesn't give me time to uh, to place it. I don't know. Let's eat some butter beans really quick. All right, we got a few a few uh, morsels in our belly now. Okay, let's see what we need. Straw door, two stools, one of those things. I don't know. I guess that's um, something else that we need. Uh, what is that on the table there? Hold on. Let me just get some of this stuff then. Yep, breaking it. It's an empty room, so we don't get any special things for it. Except for a few points, which is alright. 
Okay. Let's put the door on. I have a feeling some of these things for recipes we might get from exploring a little bit more. And all of this was dirt, right? I think all of this was dirt. Was that two doors on this thing? Uh, well, once we get the quest, we can just reverse it because we don't need that. We don't need that much space in between the builds, you know? Yeah, we'll just put the door on this side once it's a haberdashery. Some monsters appear in Zuljin's base. Um, alright. Hold up. I'm pretty sure I needed a chest. I don't even, I don't even know. Hold on, let's put some of this stuff up. I'm almost out of room. <laughs> Already. Okay. Okay, the thing on the spinning wheel apparently was just the spinning wheel. Alright, good. Uh, we'll need two stools. I don't think I've made those yet. They should be handling business. Oh, look! We got some we got some people with quests now. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, let's build two stools. Comfy stools. Alright, I think that's all I needed from there. I don't know what kind of light source I'm gonna need inside, but I'll figure it out. Uh comfy stools. Bam. Bam. Let's make another straw door. Hold on, let's see. Oh, what we need. We do need a bonfire. Where's the bonfire go? In the corner. Perfect. Did not. It's not what I wanted to do. Thought I had. Um, I thought I might have had another door, but I don't. Okay. Bonfire. We'll take that out. There we go. Okay. Let's go quickly make another, um... Oh, what was I trying to make now? <laughs> I'm getting so lost, man. I was trying to make another door. There's a straw door, right? I think so. Where is that? There it is. I might as well make two because that other room needs one. There we go. Kind of tight right here, but I didn't even think about that. There we go. Haberdashery is made. Sewing room. Perfect. All right. And did nobody come and see how everything was going? Nope, apparently not. <laughs> All right. Let's go talk to everybody that had quests. Oh, maybe he's awake now. Maybe it's just one of... Yeah, apparently one of them woke up. Jacob. War! I feel on top of the world. Thanks a million for saving me. I've never heard of anyone fighting back against the Blight before. You're really something, you know? Well, thank you, Jacob. Uh, if you need my help, my best mate Irvin get better too. I'd be happier than a slime in sludge. It's funny those patients are taking so so much longer than I did to recover, though. You think they might have caught a different strain of the blight? I mean, just look at how itchy they are. They've been scratching themselves so just so much that they're covered head to toe in scabs and sores. It's horrifying. It really is. I hope you can figure out a way to cure them like you cured me. Thanks again for that, by the way. I don't have much to give you in return, but here, take this. Seed of life. We'll take it. We'll take it. So he didn't give us anything really new here, but that's okay. Um, what about our buddy Geronimo? Didn't he have a quest icon? He did. Geronimo! Our patients have treated with all the food and medicine they need, and yet some of them suffer as much as they did the day they arrived. I fear there m wait. I fear there may be some other cause for their condition. A mystery warrants further investigation. Getting to the bottom of this may take some time, Zul'jin. While I'm looking into it, you should take this opportunity to continue rebuilding work. The monsters have been attacking far more frequently of late, and we need to improve our defenses. I don't care how you do it, young man, but you must 
use your builder's powers to take this town to another level. Ah, Zul'jin, wonderful job you've done with the town. Apparently, I've already gotten that level. <laughs> However, I regret to inform you that I'm no closer to determining the afflicting of patience. Well, look, Geronimo, I kept my end of the deal. Where you at, man? What's that? Murmuring about Ilias, you say? I'm afraid I haven't heard anything of the sort. They've not been very talkative around me. And in any case, we have no choice but to leave the patients under observation. Let us continue in our roles for the time being while you see off the monsters. I will redouble my efforts to seek a cure for the dreaded disease. And we got another seed of life. Very good. Alright. Let's use that. Very good. And it looks like it's time for a monster fight. Soldier and Malam have terrible news. The monsters are moving into town once again. Oh, Goddess, why must they attack at a time like this when our patients are still suffering? Well, Malam, are you prepared to drive off these beasts? Yes. I have no doubt the monsters attack us at the command of the Hades Condor. No doubt the fiend sees us and our efforts to fight back against its plague and affront to all it stands for. We must find a way to rid the land of Hades Condor and bring it into the fell rain it showers upon us all. If only we had the means to shoot it from the sky. For now, all we can do is defend this place from the forces the monster sends against us. But fear not, Zul'jin, for you're not alone. I shall fight by your side. Thank you, Ellie, for the mouthful and the assistance on the battlefield. Alright, battle begins. Whoa. Oh, that's the Hades Condor, apparently. Guys, help me out here. Help me out here, guys. Wow. Alright, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Quit attacking the dirt! Dude, they hit so hard sometimes. Those rolling attacks? I just can't get too close. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need one of those rings of immunity. Definitely. Monsters are defeated. Perfect. Phase two. I need some more of those rocks, man. The throwing stones? Scare wolves. Alright, those are easy, actually. I'm not confused! Uh-oh, what's that? That's the boss monster? That's a zombie. I remember them from Dragon Warrior 2. Dude, he's tough. There we go. Wow. He said, he said Geronimo's name. Geronimo's <laughs> name. That zombie, or whatever said it. Yeah, red teleportal, baby. Alright. Now we're making some progress. That feels good. Yay! Everybody's clapping. Alright, Geronimo. You made short work of those monsters, young man. It took... Oh, wait. It looks like you got yourself a teleportal to show off for it, too. Zul'jin, there's something I want to look for on the other side of the teleportal. Somewhere beyond that circle of light, you will find an ancient place. It will have long fallen to ruin by now, but a wise sage named Thalmus once called it home. His greatest work, the former Sutra, <laughs> was enshrined within that place and should remain there still. Should you recover this text, the secrets of growing great crops from tiny seeds will be yours. This knowledge would be great boon to our village and everyone in it. We cannot expect our patients to recover their strength without hearty, nutritious food, and the best way to get it is to grow our own. And now head through the teleportal, young man. Search the ruined place and bring back the former sutra. Okay, so I got a new quest. Um, let's see here. I am going to have to put a few things up. Let's see what I can put up here. I can put these away. Let's put this away. Let's put these away. Let's put these away. Let's put these away. Let's put these. I don't know if I want to put those away. Tingle tablets. I'm gonna have to use those on those other guys, but right now I don't think I need to. Um, I do need to. I need to pull out a few things from the colossal coffer. 
Actually, I could just do it right here, can't I? I don't know why I always think I have to go straight to it. Items. Let's pull out what I know is duplicates in this chest. And also things that I don't need, like decorations and stuff. I know I don't need a lot of this stuff. Crafting materials. Item bag is full. Okay, let's just put a few things away in here then. And... The teleportal is going to go put get put back to... Actually, I'm going to keep the tingle tablets. I said that I would put them in the other chest. Let's see... Okay... I don't know why I wanted to come out again. Let's grab the blueprints out of here, the one-offs. The things that I know I don't need when I'm out and about. Alright, I think that's probably gonna do me pretty good. And I could just sort my inventory out later. Put it up, 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 put it up. Alright. Red teleportal down. Beautiful. Alright. Let's sleep before we go out. Twin teleportarium. Very nice. Yeah, everybody's happy. Oh, we got some more quests in town. I didn't even realize that. Let's see what everybody else wants. After we sleep, of course. We don't want any ghosties. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Zuljin's mind. We're having a dream, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's a shop. Thou art welcome, wanderer, in this our humble armory. How pray we be to use to thee this day? Wow. <laughs> That's a mouthful. A purchase, is it? With our fine items tickleth the fancy? We have an oaken club for 60 coins, a copper sword for 180, and an iron axe for 560. This is exactly the the items that were in the first weapon shop in Dragon Warrior 1. This is amazing. A set of plain clothes may had for trifling 70 coins, a suit of chainmail for 300, and an iron shield for 800. An iron axe for this exquisite article we asked a mere 560 coins. Wilt thou part with this modest sum? A thousand thanks. Wilt thou equip this fine item forthwith? <laughs> but Wherefore wouldst thou purchase such a treasure? Only for it to remain unused? Art thou not a hero of legend? Tis my sacred duty to forge these fine items and thine to employ them in overcoming ever more mighty monsters. So come, sir, clasp thy ask <laughs> clasp the axe in thy grasp and sally forth into the field to face thy destiny. Very well, might we assist thee in some other manner? We shall await thy next coming most eagerly. <laughs> wow. That dude had some words. It seemed like a memory of something else that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's illusion can't remember. Wow. So much nostalgia from stuff like that. <laughs> okay, let's see what everybody's fuss is about. I saw some quest dialogue. Alright. Ah, Zul'jin, what good timing. I was just wondering if you might like to do me a favor. But knowing you, you'll just give me a cold, dead stare like you think I'm some kind of idiot. Why would I give you that, Nosh? If you promise me that you won't, then I'll spin, spill the beans, but only if you promise. So, Zul'jin, do you swear? Yes. Wow, really? Cross your heart and hope to die? Alright then. Here's the meat and potatoes of it. I want to be a cleverer. Hey, you promised! You said you wouldn't do that staring thing. What? I might have been cured of the blight, but you're still something wrong with my brain? You're awful, you are. That's what, that's for calling me potato face the other day. And anyway, I'm not that stupid. I've got the plan all figured out. You know that if I eat a lot of seafood, you get smarter, right? Well, I reckon if you souped up the canteen a bit and put a barbecue in there, I'll be able to get even more fish down than I know what to do with. Huh? Why do I want to be a cleverer? It's a secret, but if you build me that barbecue, then maybe I'll tell you. 
Please, Zuljin, just gather up whatever materials you need and build me the barbecue. Yeah, we do need some stuff. We're probably going to get that in the next area. Zuljin, my lamb, have you already ventured through the new teleporter you found? No, Ellie, you have a quest icon above your head. I'll wait it until I talk to you. I'm sure there are a lot of new patients awaiting your aid over there. We ain't even fixed up the ones we have. It would be simply wonderful if you could bring them back to town and help to heal them. But, Zuljin, there is something else that weighs heavily upon my mind, naturally. How can I put this? Do I have a potato face? Somehow, some of our patients have no sign of recovering from the black. No matter how I try to suit their pains, I seem to be only extending them. This makes me wonder, would it be kind of thing to simply end their suffering? Perhaps it is truly as Geronimo says. Perhaps man truly is powerless to face of this plague. No, we're not going to do assisted suicide. Oh, please forgive me. I did not mean to subject you to such pointless griping and grumbling. Zuljin, as I understand it, there are two people beyond the new teleporter who need your help. If you haven't already, please head over there and find them. Lay them down in our sick room and heal them of their illnesses. Alright, I did get a quest for it. And it looks like I got one more quest. Casey, hey Zuljin, there's something I wanted to ask you, but it's just between me and you, alright? So, Geronimo and Ellie, are they, you know, together? <laughs> You've seen what they're like normally. They always seem to be loggerheads. But sometimes I see them two acting all nicey-nicey with each other. A bit too nicey-nicey if you ask me. It actually makes me kind of uncomfortable. I mean, he's old enough to be a grandfather. I know it's none of my business, but still. Anyway, I suppose there's not much point complaining to you about it, but there's something else I'd like you to help me with. The patients just don't seem to be getting any better, do they? I was thinking that it might be something to do with the water they're drinking. Do you think we could build something that would filter out dirt in the drinking water? If you could come up with a good idea of something that could clean up the water, you could put it in the watering hole. Let me guess. It's a filter. Filter fountain. 300 points. How would we make that, though? How would we make a filter fountain? Hmm. Filter fountain. We're gonna need begonia leaves, which we do not have yet. All right, we're gonna have to go into the red teleportal, but I will do that in the next episode, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show your support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time.